Konnichiwa, Mina, this is Tisakura, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is South Park Chef's Love Shack. Alright, so this game is 1 to 4 players, single controller, or 2 controllers, I don't know how that works, but also uses the multi tap. And it's analog control somehow. Okay. Well, this is a trivia game featuring Chef and other characters from South Park. Very curious to see how this is going to be. And I am very excited to try it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. As always, 10 minutes by the game. First, I'm playing a version of On the Call. Skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer started, and away we go. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, we're going to need your help, right? Okay, I guess it is only four controllers. Hmm, okay. I'm wrong. It actually does say you have to the tap, even though the thing says here. <laughs> that reminds me of the Twisted Game Show where people are actually doing it. Mm. Alright. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's go all eight rounds. I'm regretting this already. Okay. All of a sudden, I really am sort of regret this. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. Love Shack. All right. <laughs> oh. Now it's time for Chef. Okay. Hi, Chef. <laughs> Lovely lady number one is Eric Carmen. I love how his eyes are like, uh, screw this. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He's he's ticked off. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Well, yeah, kill. All right, what's, what's the question? Okay. Wait. What the heck? Okay. Whoa, I can't... My controller's... Huh. I don't know what's going on. Rodeo, okay. It won't let me actually select anything. Okay. 
Okay. Hold on with the direction aerial arrows and try to stay on. Gotcha. Get ready. Here it comes. Okay. Up. Up. Down. Up. Left. Down. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is getting really fast. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Couldn't happen to a better guy. Yay. <laughs> I just like I'm not understanding how to pick the questions. Like, I hit... Oh, okay. Typhoon Mary. Oh, I had to buzz in. I feel stupid. Wow. I feel really stupid. Oh, it's Heinz. Crap. Yay. Well, at least now I understand why I wasn't moving. Okay, stampede. What do I have to do now? Run, huddle, hurdle. <laughs> okay. I do not have a very good feeling about this. Okay. I tried so hard, but I couldn't do it. They were too fast. <laughs> oh. I'm having way too much fun with this game. I can see how having four people would make this game just absolutely hilarious. I don't want to do double down. I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. What's the question now? I don't know that. That one. Crap. Like, why couldn't you have that one as the last question? Seriously. People who... Um... Colorado. I don't... Like, I actually studied that. I've heard of them, but, you know, it's like... I'm, okay, bad kitty. I'm afraid. What's going to happen now? Up, jump down. Okay, pot pies, crabbins, get him. Gonna jump over balls with kitty agility. Get Eric's poofs while you're at it. Eat peppers for fire breath. Okay, so you basically are evil kitty. It's Donkey Kong. Got it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I can't jump at all. Oh, I almost made it too. That's funny. That's actually pretty clever. Yay! Oh, there goes a the timer. I was actually having fun with that. Okay. Can I pause? Yes, I can. Alright, well... It's super cheesy. And... You know... It's basically... Let's we'll just call it what it is. It's a... Um, don't know Jack clone. That's exactly what it is. But I don't mind it one, one bit because... It's characters that, if you're a fan of the show, you're going to like it. The minigames are interesting. And I can see how it would make it fun. Uh, you know, having multiple people and seeing how well you can do. The questions are legit questions. They're not just, you know, run-of-the-mill dumb questions. You're like, they're not even about the show. And I think that's very important, in my opinion. It makes it that much better that you're literally doing a trivia game, but South Park style. No problem with that whatsoever. I think that's a very clever idea. And I like it. It works. And the game looks good. They have the voices in there. Um, they have the music when you need it. It literally is a game show. And I really do like that. I think that they did it. In my opinion, they did a great job on it. At the same time, I can see why people would hate it. Just because it's like, well, we don't. You have the game, you don't know Jack, and then you have this game, where people would probably want to go do you don't know Jack over this one. But in my opinion, it never hurts to have multiple game shows, especially because this one has mini games in it, and that's what makes it unique. Besides actually having the South Park characters in here, so I like that, and. Yes, it does have a you know a little bit of a load time on it, which makes me want to get the 64 version just to try it out to see if the load times are not there since it's on cartridge, which is something I'm going to try and do because I want to play the 64 version now. So yeah, I'd say give this one a try. This is fun. If you like, you don't know Jack, and you like South Park. Here's basically your mishmash with it. Plus, you get the the Mario Party mini games included, which makes it even better. Not bad. I, this has actually been a lot of fun trying out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me epically fail. I'm making. I can't believe I didn't figure that out. I had to buzz in first. Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Tisa Cursing Challenge. Sayonara. <laughs>